walkthrough uh, festival playlist. Mm -hmm. So as you might imagine, the theme for the update is uh, Horizon's birthday. And because all four of the Horizon games have been released around the same time of year, we're uh, paying tribute to all four of them, starting with Horizon 1. So here in summer, this week is all about Horizon 1. You can see there the weekly Forts Thon features the Viper and um, Aid, our UI artist, he's, he's done a great job there of trying to recreate the, uh, the Horizon 1 box art uh, to evoke those memories. Um, and the eagle-eyed among you, I'm sure I've already spotted the McLaren 600LT is available as the 50% reward um, in summer. That's a new and exclusive car. And as usual, we're going to walk through those in mm -hmm. more detail in a moment. Um, so let's have a look. We've got Mustang versus Mustang. Again, homage to the first showcase event ever in Horizon. Um, I'm sure fond memories uh, of that. So you'll be able to win the number 25 RTR Mustang from that event. And we've got a returning showcase remix. Um, we're going for those 80s synth vibes mm. with the Jet Black Lamborghini Countach versus the Jet Black uh, Delta Wing Jet. And then you'll be able to grab the Chevy Camaro, uh, which is normally a wheel spin car from the Summer Games. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, if you're just starting out at Horizon and you're after that yellow wristband in the Horizon heat, so you can pick up a uh, Honda Civic 84. And I'm sure uh, fans will remember that uh, Darius Flint used to drive the Ferrari 599. Uh, so you'll be able to grab that from a championship we've got called Race Central. And This is the second time the 599's been up for grabs. Right? That's right, and uh, it's one of our returning reward cars. It's a little <coughs> easier to get the second time around. And make sure you get it because it's one of the fastest cars in the game, the XX Evolution version, anyway. And then we've got um, there's a snake in my boot, so named because uh, it features Shelby, the classic American brand, and their logo is of course a snake. So um, and you can win the vintage racing suit, so you can look the part while you're driving it around. Is that connected to Horizon One? Well, it's set in the USA, isn't it? Where is there a where Shelby's sure. from? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Week two, all about uh, Horizon 2. So we've got the, uh, the Hurricane, the cover car from Horizon 2. And in this week, from Festival Playlist, you'll be able to pick up a John Cooper Works Mini and uh, the Koenigsegg 1.1. I think the Mini hasn't been out since m the mini month of May, which was Series 9. So, yeah. And then in uh, the trial, we've got Ice A10. Do you remember what that's from, Mike? Of course, yeah. That was the Atone video at the start of the game with the... Uh... <coughs> The lady sort of semi-hypnotising you? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so when, you, when she said 10, that was it. You arrived at uh, Horizon. And how better to capture that spirit than allow you to drive whatever you want, so long as it's S2 class. Um, and from it, you'll be able to win the brand new uh, Volkswagen IDR, uh, which is their all-electric hill-climbing uh, record-breaking car. So if you uh, get your 599 from uh, summer, Yes, you can totally use that in this trial. Some horrible on it to make a 998. Yeah. version of that and clean up here. And then, uh, totally in fitting with uh, the Horizon 2 era, you can win the DAB emote. Uh, <laughs> you could <can, laughs> uh, also get the Jeep Wrangler Diverti design. Um, this came out a couple of series ago, I think Series 11, and it was in a really difficult to beat trial. So again, coming around mm -hmm. a lot easier this time. So uh, again, make sure you get it because that's a great off-road uh, cross-country car. Um, is this the way to Castelletto? That will bag you the Alfa Romeo 8C Forza Edition. And Eurobeat intensifies. Um, that championship features retro saloons and you can win yourself a Mercedes-Benz E63. And then winter is Horizon 3. Uh, so we've got the um, uh, Centenario there as the weekly Forza Thon. I love the subtle hint. Oh, the, the, the Opus in. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and obviously, my, my immediate first assumption about uh, Australia is, is, is winter. Uh, Blizzard Mountain, of course. Yes, yes. Anyway, um, <laughs> our, our next exclusive car up for grabs here is the, uh, the Ford F1, uh, F150 debated design. It's like a foot wider than the, the regular F, F150. It's a great off roader. Uh, you can pick up a uh, Aventador FE from the Lamborghini Cup. We've got a nod to Hot Wheels there with a bone shaker. And we've got uh, the, Ooh, the Falcon. Yeah, so this is a, a championship for Australian <coughs> vehicles where you can win the, the Ford XB Falcon. Yeah, faster than a V8 Interceptor. That's yes, right, yep. Yeah. And of course, um, Horizon 3 was the first game to have street races in it, so you can do a midnight battle here. And that race was against the M3, I believe, wasn't yep, it? Yep, the e first street. E36 M3. So there you go, you can win an M3 from that championship. And then in spring, uh, last but not least, this is homage to Horizon 4. So we've got the Pontiac GTO and the Chevy Impala, which you can upgrade to be like a patrol car, great cars. The Fort Thon is all about McLaren Senna. 
Uh, welcome to the Horizon Festival. You can win yourself a chicken suit from the trial. <laughs> Of course. And then we've got, we've got a, uh, a new showcase remix called Contest of Giants, and this is featuring the Chevy Colorado uh, ZR2 against the Hovercraft. First time we've remixed mm -hmm. the, uh, the Behemoth showcase. So make sure you complete that if you want to uh, make progress on your star card. And we've got uh, the Reventon FE for a spring developer championship. We've got some uh, developer and community championships returning. Old Blighty is a championship for all British vehicles, S2 class. Um, so if you've won one of the McLarens already, you'll be able to put it to good use in this and win yourself a Morris Traveller. And then last but not least, the McLaren Cup is where you can pick up our last new and exclusive car, the 720S Spider. Nice. So, so uh, yeah. why don't we take a look at some of these cars? I yeah, mean, absolutely. I know some of those who did actually have a look at Tulban Tuesday, they did guess a few of these. There was a few, you know, conspiracy theories and different things, but some of these was guessed. And of course, we did have the Spider, despite people thinking it was Halloween related. No, it is actually this car. So, uh, should we give it a check? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, those hints weren't, weren't particularly juicy because the fish had a long tail. Well, um, hey, we had quite a few people say variations of that, uh, guessing some other types of cars, but no, it was in fact the long tail. So, this is the, uh, the Spider version of the 720S. Um, it's an amazing car. Having the roof down just lets you hear things a bit, a bit more as well and show off your uh, chicken suit a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> as a drone. <laughs> a beautiful disco coloured chicken suit. Okay, it's nice. It goes well with the green colour of this car. I mean, how else like, do you celebrate without getting up in your chicken suit? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. uh, this is it's a 720S without a roof. Um, so, McLaren's uh, carbon monocoque is so stiff that uh, pulling the roof off doesn't actually affect the car in any way. Um, so, it drives the same as So, a, no reinforcement at all to the chassis to accommodate the roof off. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I think that's the same with all their monocoques. Um, so, if we have a look at some of our other cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said you had it there. Yeah. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, the other McLaren. So, it's a couple of McLarens in the series to celebrate, obviously, mm -hmm. our year, uh, with the Senna being our uh, cover car. Um, this, this is, a, I know, a hotly requested car. So, this is the track version of these 570S. Um, so it's about 600 horsepower, 600 PS, I think it is. Um, am, um, I, am I dreaming it, or is there, or is there like a texture difference on the rear spoiler? There is. Um, oh, perfect timing. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I was about to wow. say, that was... <laughs> so, so as you can see, the, the exhaust point's right at the rear wing. And... Uh, the top exit exhaust is yeah. amazing. The carbon fibre wing would obviously not do so well with uh, flames going over it. So it's got a slightly different carbon fiber finish on it that's heat resistant, um, also aids downforce. Um, but, but so the exhaust puts downforce on the car? Yep. <laughs> nice. It feels like cheating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see uh, the fire shooting out of there, especially a jetpack forcing the car down towards the red <laughs> surface. Um, so yeah, uh, much more kind of track orientated version of the 570, so more downforce, lighter, um, much stiffer. Um, this is an amazing car, um, just drives really well. The 570 has a really kind of playfulness to it. Um, McLaren's target wasn't to chase lap times and it's kind of similar to the 600, it's track focused, but it's still a very playful car. Um, put it into the wall. So this has been one of the most requested from the community as well, hasn't it? This has been very requested, yeah, so it's great to finally bring it in. Remind us, Matt, how did they get this one? Is it? Uh, the 600 LT was 50% completion on summer. Yeah, so don't sleep on it. That's, that's, <laughs> well, that's next the, week. Uh, this yeah, is yeah. a changeover. So, the other uh, rather hot car of the series is the IDR, Volkswagen IDR. So, the version we've got is the car that absolutely dominated Pikes Peak. Um, it blew the current record away. So, this is all electric, it's 670 horsepower, all wheel drive and makes a lot of downforce. Uh, we should probably tell with a pretty big wing there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> quite a big rear wing on it, yeah. And you were saying some quite interesting things about this earlier, like um, obviously the air is quite thin at the top of Pikes Peak, so you do need all this downforce to glue it to the road. Yeah, so Pikes Peak goes between 9,000 and 14,000 feet, so the air is really thin up there, um, hence all the mad aero on it. When you bring this down to sea level, it makes more downforce, but it has way more drag. So we're running it in the Pikes Peak trim, but our Horizon 4 map is roughly at sea level, so 
it makes a lot of downforce, but it's also quite draggy. So it tops out about 150 mile an hour, but it'll go around the entire map at 150 mile an hour. Yes. Um, we were looking at upgrades on, on this uh, earlier, and I noticed that it does, in fact, have a, a rally spec. You can um, put rally parts on And it. If, if we just look at it from the side, if you'd like to uh, just park it. That. So you were saying something about that skirt there, right? Yeah, so again, to produce more downforce. So <clears throat> to give context, um, oh, this makes twice the downforce of our cover car. So it's, it's a huge amount of downforce. And it's things like the side skirts, which are kind of just tipping over slightly, that mm. are helping keep air under the car. The more air going under the car, the faster the air, the lower the pressure is mm. sucking it down, um, along with the giant splitter and the giant rear wing. Mm. Um, so it's really, yeah, this, this, this could do the, the classic driving upside down. It makes that much downforce. It's 1,100 kilos. I think wow. it's about 1,500 kilos of downforce, somewhere like that. Like so you described the classic yeah. driving upside down, like you know, yeah. just <laughs> casual, like every that, that, that old frat, frat party challenge. Driving <laughs> <laughs> car upside down. Probably shouldn't do that. Frat party. <laughs> um, so yeah, but but that that's curse on the side, doesn't that like technically make it like a ground effect vehicle? It is. Like it is like a ground effect car. Um, so there is another ground effect vehicle in in our game. At the, the hovercraft. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, no, you're not, you're not going to brace this against the hovercraft. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it's going to fare too well on that route. OK. Um, I mean, when we, when we did look at it, the rally spec raised it, what was it, 1.8 1. 1. 1. 8 inches? 1. 1. 8 inches up. So it oh, does uh, help it. Well, if you build it, it'll be too late for Chris to take it out. I'll just find out. Into the schedule. <laughs> but we, do, we do have another car that would be usable for that showcase. Um, so also this series, we've got the Deboe Brothers um, F-150 pre-runner. So a pre-runner is a more luxurious kind of Baja car. So mm -hmm. when you're going out doing big off-road racing, you build yourself a pre-runner to, in a bit more comfort, drive the routes and do your pace notes. Right. Um, so we've got um, this amazing thing. So if we go inside, it's still got the full interior, but it's got the full-on roll cage, some nice wooden trim. Um, <laughs> that would have been an optional extra. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a full-on trophy truck in terms of the suspension and tyres, things like that. Um, it's got an 800 horsepower engine in it. So it the fan unit on the back, truck. what is that? The fans? Mm. Um, they will be for one of the radiators on it to cool them. Because in behind the cab, um, you don't get much airflow, so right. you have to use fans to mm. pull the air through the coolers. It also has four giant subwoofers in there, just you know, in case. Because you can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Why not? I mean, you just doesn't, right? Yeah, when you pre run in the Baja 1000, you may as well do it in comfort. <laughs> wow. So you can have this for uh, going against the, uh, the hovercraft. OK. Hmm. Is that a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> No, I think Torben's challenge is to use the IDR. For <laughs> okay, no promises there. Oh, look at this thing, it'll just go anywhere. And, and, how, and where did we get this? Uh, oh, you guys are testing me today. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, let me throw you under the. This, this was 50% right in winter, right yes. so the Horizon 3 mm. uh, uh, anniversary week. Mm. Yeah, you'll be able to get that. Looks like the kind of thing that we'll just. Because it looks like the traffic truck from the start of Horizon 3, is that your. That's it, yeah. Okay. The key answer. Whoa! Oh. It's, it'll just be good in the snow. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh you're just going to oh, land, land it. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, some great cars this mm. series. I was about to say, I'm, I'm sure the community will be uh, very pleased. A few of these, they have been trying to guess on when they did figure them out. They were really excited, so it's nice that we can reveal these to the community. But uh, moving on to also another Tobin Tuesday hint, which actually was yes. the first to be picked, was... Well, so it, yes, again, it wasn't very well, subtle. Yeah, no, I mean, it's quite obvious, but... It was uh, like two cars and then an equal <laughs> sign and then a bag full of money. I mean, <laughs> profit? <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a feature which was requested by the community for a long time, okay. is for those that had, you know, duplicate cars in the wheel spins, what do we do with them? Okay. So well, let's, let's, let's find out. Should we show them off? Yes, uh, so let us, uh, let's roll a wheel, let's just take a wheel spin that we prepared earlier. So, uh, and of course this isn't going to give me a car because... <laughs> No. Of course not. No. Like, why, would you, why would you expect this to, this to work why live? Did you do that? <laughs> uh, let's try a super wheel spin then. Okay, and this go. is just going to be not. It's going to be three horns. <laughs> also, I think we debug unlocked all the clothing, so yeah, you're probably going to get a lot of credit. Uh, no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have the chicken. You don't We've only got 10 more left, though. Yes. Oh, please. Well, we're, we're in a we have to get a car. There we go. There, there we go. Taxi! Nice. Where's cars? Okay, so we're going to say collect the prize. 
Now, because I have this car, I have some new options. I can either add it to my garage or I can sell it for half of its uh, value. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get that for my Morris Minor. I'm you should add that to your garage. Get that on the auction house. Don't be, don't be taking 10K for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that's explicitly why you have the choice there, right? Because some cars have a really low auction show, uh, sorry, uh, auto show value, uh, but are massively valuable mm. on, on the auction house. So yeah, so that's a, obviously a car that wouldn't be super expensive to buy in real life, mm. but it's kind of hard to get in Horizon Fox. Yeah, because yeah, there, I mean, outside of Wheelspin, the only way to get it is once from completing the Horizon story. So. Is there um, any point when that might not pop up? Because yes. obviously, um, so there is there is one situation where you can't where where you don't get the option, uh, and that is if you are in a time limited multiplayer situation, like you're in in the middle of a of an adventure and you get some wheel spins and you need to take them there, Sp specifically so you can't stop everyone while you're sitting waiting to make a decision. So in that situation, it adds the car to your garage, but that's the only the only place where it where it doesn't work. So. 19 grand for a, for a 131 hour. So just to clarify, because I know a lot of people have been asked this question, mm. it's half, 50%. Half it's half the auto show price. Nice. Let's see if you cool. get it again. Oh, yeah. No. Anyway. <laughs> I think we'll uh, leave that there for that one. Um, so, guys, I know a few of you have been sending in some photos. We recently did a... <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's move on to the next thing, which is achievements. So as some of you might notice on the Tobin Tuesday as well, we did put some figures up on there and we've got some 11 brand new achievements with total 250 uh, G. Um, so there is various ones. We've got um, a lot of them uh, to just finish the chapters of the Top Gear. We've also got some of the uh, chapters of the car files. We've got uh, various achievements for our seasonal championships mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, festival playlist achievements just for you guys. Uh, just for completed, basically, 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, a, a thing to keep in mind is that uh, these are uh, retroactive. So if you, have, uh, if you have managed the Herculean tasks, and I don't know, someone has, of, uh, of actually pulling off 100% on festival playlists, uh, <laughs> then uh, there are oh, cool. achievements waiting for you. Excellent. Uh, Herculean task. That's, well, I feel that's, that's a perfectly reasonable thing to ask players to do every single month. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't do that? <laughs> yes. Cool. Um, but yeah, that should give you know all the achievement hunters there some extra extra D in the achievement. So mm -hmm. keep an eye on for them. Anyway.